Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to consider quadratic equation under the topic of derivation of quadratic formula that says x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Okay? Before we go on, what is quadratic equation? Quadratic equation is simply defined as an algebraic expression or equation in which the highest degree of x is 2. And it is in this form. It is in this form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. In quadratic equation, there are various methods of solving it. Number one is factorization method, completing the square method, formula method and the graphical method. But today, we are going to show step-by-step -step way we can, we can derive this quadratic formula and how we can use it also to solve quadratic problems. Okay, now, A, where A, where A is equal to coefficient, coefficient of x squared. That is the number beside this x squared. A is the coefficient of x squared. B, coefficient, coefficient of x, or you say coefficient of the middle term. Y, C is constant, constant term. Is constant term. Now, we are going to modify x from this. Let me, let me pause it. We are going to solve for x. We are going to solve for x in this format, in this algebraic expression. We are going to solve for x and modify it so that it will look like this. That is indirectly making x, x squared, making x here the subject of the equation. All right, before we, before we continue, the, the, the first step we can follow is first dividing, dividing through, dividing through by A, dividing through by A, in order to make the coefficients of x squared one. So we have something like this, A x squared divided by A plus Bx divided by A, plus c divided by a is equal to zero. So when a and a cancel, we have succeeded making the equations of x squared as one. Just, just say for instance, you are solving an equation in this way, two m squared is equal to five. For you to find m, you first of all divide both sides by the coefficients to have two m squared over two. So this one will go over five over two. So these two now is our a. We want to make x the coefficient of x to be 1. That is why we are dividing 2 by a. Alright, that is the first step. The second step is move the constant term to the right hand side. That is, to this side. Why? It's just like collecting like terms and solving simple linear equations. Why we are doing this now is to bring the terms in x, those terms that has variable, we bring it in one side, then those ones that are constant, we we'll keep it in the other side. So that we have x squared plus b over ax is equal to minus c over a. Because this is plus. When it crosses equal sign, this is the constant term, remember. When it crosses the equality sign, it becomes minus c over, over a. The next step, the next step is add half squared the equations of x to both sides. Remember, this is b over a is the equations of x. So we are going to add half square of it to both sides. Okay, we have x square plus b over ax plus b over 2a all square is equal to minus c over a plus b squared over 2a b over 2a all squared this is the this is what we were asked to add to both sides just take for instance this is b 
over A, which is the coefficient of x. Then to, to take the half of it and square, we have B times 1 is B, A times 2 is 2A, all squared. Why are we adding this B over 2A, all squared, to both sides? Remember, from this place, this particular equation is no more a perfect square. So when we have added this, it has made this equation to be a perfect square in the form of a plus b all square. So we have first we have succeeded making this expression to be a perfect square. And it is an equation. Whatever you do to the left hand side, you must also do it to the right hand side. So that is why we have added this and we have also added to this place. Now let's simplify the right hand side. Let's simplify this side. Now bringing it to be in the form of perfect square, we have that x squared, we have that x plus b over 2a, all squared, just as what I have told you earlier, a plus b squared. This is what you have considered. If you expand this, we're going to arrive at this. Like now, if you expand this one, you have a plus b, bracket a plus b, which will be having a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared. So this is a perfect square. And this one now is similar to this. We have to take x and this, then square both sides. Now, in the right hand side, we have simplified the left hand side. In the right hand side, let's simplify it also. Let's simplify the right hand side also. We have that is equal to minus c over a plus b squared b raised to the power 2 is b squared. Then 2a raised to the power 2 will be having 4a squared. We'll be having 4a squared. All right, let's proceed. Now, in the left, in the left hand side, in the right hand side again, this is right hand side, this is left hand side. In this right hand side, let's simplify it further because it's in form of fraction. Let's simplify it further. We'll be having x plus b over 2a or uh, squared is equal to what is the LCM of 4a squared and a? We have it that it is 4a squared. Now, take this 4a squared, divide it by a, the remainder you multiply it to the numerator, do the same thing here, the remainder you multiply it to the, numer uh, the numerator. Okay, so 4a squared divided by a, we have 4a. Then 4a times minus c, we have minus 4ac. Okay, you put your plus. 4a squared divided by 4a squared, we are left with what? 1. So 1 times b, which is the numerator, we have b squared. Okay, we have b squared. Now, let's go. Since we are trying to make x alone, the subject formula, what we are going to do now is we take the square root of both sides. Please remember the difference between taking square and taking the square root. Okay? For us to take the square root of an expression where you have x squared is equal to 5. Then you are not asked to find x squared, rather x. To find x, you now take the square root of both sides to have 5. Okay? Which is like now, this is x squared multiplied by 1 over 2 is equal to 5 multiplied by 1 over 2. And then this is say that a raised to the power 1 over 2 is equal to square root of a. So this 5 raised to the power 1 over 2, we make it to be square root. Here, already have cancelled. Okay? When you take the square root of both sides. Alright. So, to take the square root of both sides, we have x plus b over 2a is equal to all the square root already that two have cancelled the square root of this one because if you put here the square root from what i have just derived that two multiply by one over two these two now these two multiply by one over two have cancelled x raised to power one and anything raised to power one is that same number. So this one will be in this form. We are taking the square root of minus 4ac plus b squared over 4a squared. Okay, if you consider this expression, you observe that 
we can still rewrite this to be b square minus 4 ac and also the square root of 4, 4 is 2 the square root of a squared is a so that we'll be having this expression to be x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus because we are taking square root there must be two roots so we have plus or minus plus or minus the square root of okay b square minus 4 is then over 2a this square root is no more covering this 4a square because you have considered the square root of 4a square this one should be in this way okay because this when you are taking square root when you are taking square root of b plus square root of square root of b they are not the same in sort to say b plus b no you cannot do it so that is why we are leaving it in this way rather for this one which i product we consider it just like square root of a times square root of a you have all the square root of a squared so they can cancel you have your a that is why we apply it here so as we have considered it we are having two a square root of four is two square root of a square is a okay remember all what we are doing is just to make x to subject the, to be the subject formula we are going to model this expression to make to make x to stand alone so over here now we are going to move this this thing to the to the right hand side and remember as it's going it will go with negative sign so that you have x is equals to plus plus the quality sign you have minus b over 2a plus or minus all the square root of b square minus 4 is over 2a now remember in fraction you only add or subtract expression when they have common denominator when the denominators are the same okay but if they are not the same you find the LCM let's take for instance when you have 1 all over 2 plus 5 over 2 you can add because you can add or subtract because they have common denominator but when you have 1 all over 3 plus 5 over 2 you cannot just add like that in mathematics rather you find the LCM so because this we have 2a and we have 2a we can easily add them okay we can easily add them so that we have x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4 ac all in 2a so we have succeeded therefore this is our final answer we have succeeded in, in solving for x so this is the quadratic formula this is the quadratic formula we have derived it another thing i want to tell you is that please when you are drawing this line ensure that it emanates from here to this place some students will just stop from here it's not the same when you stop from here means this is this one is not considering this 2a whereas there is 2a here so you must make sure that this line reaches here and this square root must also stop at c okay so this is the the way of using of using this model this expression to find the quadratic formula also bear it in mind that this quadratic equation this quadratic formula is being derived through completing square method and the, the completing square method is just all this process see the completing square method all this process we have applied if you apply it similarly you will get your solution in completing the square method hence you have indirectly then completing the square method and they have to derive formula method of solving quadratic equation now let's go and solve an example using this using this uh, uh, formula okay let's go and solve an example let's go and solve an example example
example, using using quadratic using quadratic quadratic formula formula find the root find the root root of the equation find the root of the equation 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0 okay when they say root it just simply means the answer okay the root simply means the answer the answer for the uh, expression okay now from this equation you now write solution solution first thing you do our a here yeah, when we model it with ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero you observe that here yeah, now is equal to two from this okay here yeah, now is what two and uh, our b is equal to five from here while c is equal to minus the, the constant thing okay let's substitute this these values, values of A, B, C to our equation. Okay, let's go. So that we have X, so that we have X is equal to minus B, minus, where is our B? 5. Minus B plus or minus all the square root of, all the square root of B square means 5 square, 5 square, okay? Then minus 4 times A is what? 2. And C is what? Times minus 3. Okay? Multiply by minus 3. All divided by 2 times A. Our A is what? 2 again. So this equation, let's go. Let's go in this side. Okay? So let's simplify for that. We have that X is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 times 5 5 times 5 it is 25 then we have because we are putting plus here automatically because this is minus times minus minus 4 times minus 3 this is plus now so 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 3 is 24 so I extend this we have 24 all over 2 times 2 we have 4 okay so this we have now minus 5 plus or minus all the square root of 25 plus 24 you have 49 49 all over 4 okay we are having minus 5 plus or minus all the square root of the square root of 49 is 7 there is no need to put square root again. The square root of 49, we have 7. Because 7 times 7 is 49. So the square root of 49 will give you 7. All divided by 4. So we can still simplify. X will now be minus, okay, let's go ahead. Minus 5 plus 7 all over 4. Or minus 5 minus 7. All over four because you have plus or minus. The first plus is this one. This one the next minus is for this one. Okay? So let's go for that to simplify. So we have therefore x is equal to minus five plus seven, which is the same thing as seven minus five. We have two. Two over four. Or minus five minus 7 you have minus 12 minus 12 all over 4 so x is equal to so x is equal to 2 divided by 4 you have 1 over 2 1 over 2 or minus because of this minus 12 divided by 4 you have what 3 so Another then hands the root the root of the equation the root of the equation 
is x is equals to 1 over 2 or minus 3. Okay, that's the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Share to your loved ones and friends. See you next time for more videos. Thank you.